Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make the sleeve with a tiny little ladybug on it. I am going to make it exactly like this today. Just showing you what uh, dark green will look like. And um, this is what it looks like without the ladybug. To let you know, there are about six, well there are six black bands four red bands and uh, about 50 green bands. I'll be using the lime green jelly today and I'm going to use one loom and our loom is going to be in its original position with the arrows facing down. I'm going to get started. So now we're going to do the leaf and I'm going to use double green bands and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch from the left second peg going down to the top middle peg just giving it a stretch I'm going to do this on the right side double bands and the second peg going down on the right and stretch to the top center now we're going to go down twice in the center using double bands so one and two I'm just pushing the bands down now take a single band and you're going to go from the center up to the right. I'm going to push down. Single band from the center up to the left. Now taking double bands, we're going to go down the right once. We're going to go down the middle once. And we're going to go down the left once. I'm just going to push my bands down. Now taking a single band, we're going to go from the center, I'm just going to push my bands down, center up to the right, single band, center up to the left. Now taking double bands, you're going to go down once on the right, center and left. So I'm going to go down double bands in the center and double bands on the left go down once. I'm going to push my bands down. Taking a single band, we're going to go from the center up to the right, single band, center, up to the left. Now taking double bands, we're going to go down once on the right, Double bands in the middle, go down once, and on the left, double bands. I'm going to push my bands down again, taking a single. We're going to go from the center up to the right, single, center, up to the left. Double bands again, going down on the right, once, the center, and the left. I'm going to push my bands down and I'm going to take a single band going from the center up to the right and single center up to the left. Now we need to close this off so I'm going to use double bands and I'm going to go at the peg below so this would be your eighth peg going down one two three four five six seven and eight. Your eighth peg going down in the center we're going to stretch up to the right from the center up to the left now, double bands, and give it a push down. Now we need to close off the end here in the middle, so double bands and go down. Now you're going to take a single band and you're going to cap the end three times. So one, two, and three. So you can take a look, this is what you should have. Now we're going to do the ladybug. So you're going to take a single red and you're going to wrap this around your hook four times. So one, two, three, and four. So you should have four loops around your hook. You're going to do this with another one, so push these bands up. 
and wrap it around your hook four times. One, two, three, and four. You're gonna take double black bands and you're gonna slide these red bands on. So put around your hook, you can support with your finger and pinch and slide on. And you're gonna attach this to your loom. So both ends of the black, push the end down and you're going to cap the end with a single red band four times. So this is one, two, three, and four. Push down. Because you're gonna do this again with another single red. Go around four times. One, two, three, and four. Now what you wanna do is don't loop up, but I'm just gonna take my hook and go around just twice on either side here. I'm just going to, this is just flattening out the bands so they're not too twisted. Now you're gonna take a single black band and you're going to loop this around your hook four times. One, two, three, and four. You're gonna do this again. Another single black, wrap it around your hook four times. One, two, three, and four. You can just push up and we're gonna reach in and we're gonna loop up the black. So push the red out of the way and loop up the black. Now you're gonna remove off the loom and this is what you should have. I'm just gonna fix these bands just right now. Um, if they're twisted or a little bit tight, I'm just kind of pulling them so they're all kind of even. Now, you're gonna take these bands and you're gonna slide them over so they're going to be on top. So just take these bands and slide over. Nothing is coming off your hook. Do this again. And now I'm just gonna push the bands down and I'm gonna take a single black and I'm going to do a slip knot. So grabbing both ends and doing a slip knot. And there's your ladybug. Now, if your bands are kind of tight, you can just pull just a little bit so they're all kind of the same going around. These ones are a little bit tighter, so I'm just going to give it a little pull. And now, look at the side that you want the front or the back. So I kind of want to pick this side as the back and this side as my front. So at the back, what I'm going to do is taking my hook, the bands that we just put around, I'm going to grab two of those bands, the black ones, and I'm going to slide my hook through and just slide two of the bands on my hook. And grabbing a single black, I'm just going to do a slip knot sliding through. Grabbing both ends and doing a slip knot. And I'm just going to put this down for a minute and we're going to start to loop up the leaf. So you're going to reach in at the bottom and grab your top two bands and loop those. They should be going t forward. I'm only grabbing one. Okay, I only grab one. I just need the other one. Now reach back in, grabbing the next top two bands and they should be going to your left. So up to the left, go back in, grabbing the next two and they're going up to your right. Now going in the middle, move these bands out of the way and grab that single band and it should be going to your left. 
Go back in, grabbing that single, the top band, and it should be going to your right. Go back in the middle and grab the next two, and they go forward. Now we're going to go on the right and loop up once. Going in on the left and loop up once. You're going to go in the middle and grab that top single and it should be going up to your left. Go back in, grabbing the next single and it should be going to your right. Go back in the middle and loop up once in the center. We're going to go on the right and loop up once. Going in on the left and loop up once. I'm going to go in the center, grabbing the top single band, and it's going up to your left. Go back in, grabbing that top single, and it's going up to your right. Going in the middle, and loop up once. Going in on the right, loop up once. On the left, loop up once. Now in the center, grab the top single and go to your left. Go back in and grab that top single and go to your right. Now this is where we're going to attach the ladybug. So this is at your fourth peg going down. So grab your ladybug and you're going to take that slip knot that we did at the back here and you're going to loop this around your hook four times. So the top of my ladybug is at the top of my hook and just loop around three times. One, two, and three. So there's three loops around your hook. And we're going to pinch these bands, open it up, and slide it on that fourth peg going down. So my ladybug is facing the top. Now you're going to reach in, moving these black bands out of the way, and grab your bottom two green and loop up once. Go on on the right and loop up once. On the left, loop up once. Going back to the middle, grabbing your top single and go to the left. Reaching back in in the middle, loop up that top single and it's going to your right. Go back in the middle and loop up once. On your right, loop up once to the top middle. On your left, loop up and stretch to your top middle. Now you're going to loop the last bands here, so reach in in the middle on the second peg going down and loop up once. Now grabbing a single green, we're going to do a slip knot at the top. So reaching in, grabbing your band, grabbing both ends, and you're going to slide the band over and making a knot. It's ready to come off the loom, so I'm just going to use my hook. And this is what you should have. I am going to hide this slip knot. You don't have to, you can kind of have it hanging as a charm, but I'm just going to go through the middle of this leaf and grabbing that single and just hiding it. Now, just so you know, the cap band is down here, that's the bottom of the leaf, and this point is the top of the leaf. So what I'm going to do is at the top of the ladybug is facing the top. I am just going to reach in and I'm going to search for a black loop that is around the green bands. 
So just one single loop. And I am going to loop this over the ladybug. So it's going to sit in, in the middle of the ladybug. I'm just going to bring that band through and bring that loop right to the middle of the ladybug. Now going at the bottom of the ladybug, so I'm just going to turn my leaf around, I'm going to search for another black band that's being looped around the green. And I'm going to bring this over my ladybug to the center just to hold it in place. Now I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut this black slip knot. And I'm just going to give not too short and not too long. And now what I did was you can just kind of fix the loops going around. I took a black marker and I just kind of gave little dots. So you can kind of see just, oh, where's the camera here? Little dots. So just, if you like, just little circles. So I hope you enjoyed Looming with Cheryl. Please subscribe down below. I have uh, a lot more designs to load. And uh, I'll see you next time with another. Bye for now.